In today's video, I'll be showing you guys 17 Brookhaven secrets in less than 10 minutes. To start, apparently we can do a pretty crazy bug at the motel. We just need to rent it. Now we just have to go inside and sit down on the couch. After that's done, we click this house button and then the one with the X. Now we're literally bugged inside the motel. I think I know clipped into the back rooms. I hope there's no monster around. Our next secret is in the public pool. If you didn't know, there's a secret passage you can go through on this side of the pool. We can literally just go into it. Then we'll be taken to this tunnel that's a pretty good hiding place to be honest. And beyond that, it also takes us to another secret place where it's some sort of criminal hideout. Pretty bizarre, right? We should get out before anyone sees me. Another secret is that in this same tunnel, we can also go to this side and find another secret passage. But this one actually takes us to the safe of Brookhaven Bank. So with a C4 in hand, we can explode it. Get that money and run away from the same place we came from. Shout out to my Brookhaven Bank robbers. Next up, we'll be going to Brookhaven Cemetery. Beyond these tombstones, which give a chill down my spine, there's one of them that we can go through the ground to look at the casket. And if we think about clicking on it, it makes this very bizarre sound. I totally wasn't scared. Our next secret is hidden in this abandoned house that was actually Mr. Brookhaven's. There's also something weird hidden in here. If we go right against this corner, we'll see a letter. This card was written for someone named Madison. If you want to read it, I'll give you a few seconds. Did that? Good! Now we'll be going to the cabin in Lake Madison. For this one, we'll need to get in here and then straight to the bathroom. If we jump on top of the shower box, we'll find the hidden passage for the attic, where we can find this mirror without a reflection and this little block. There's also lots more on this side with this bizarre doll beside them. Our next secret is in the water slide. Sadly, this one won't last long as the slide is going to be deleted after summer. There's a bunch of buttons in here, but we'll choose the violet button. Now if we go to this side and jump right at the end, we'll jump so high that we're basically flying around Brookhaven. So you just need to get the timing right so that you can enjoy your airtime. Wish me luck on the way down. There's a very cool secret hidden in this spaceship house. We just need to get inside of it. Go up all the way through these ladders. Now if we go here and jump onto this wall, we'll find a secret ladder that takes us to this small room. In here we find what looks like the ship's core, which is really damn cool. Now we'll be going to the hospital, but we have to go through the broken window to the second floor, where we'll find the most bizarre places. Now we just need to click on this agency paper that will burst into flames. Then we need to go to the library and jump on top of these bookshelves to find the elusive red book. It even plays a sound. It's so weird. With that done, we'll go to the motel. We're gonna rent any of these spaces. It doesn't matter. But now if we get into it, everything will be rusty and old like the hospital. It's so dirty that there's trash all around the ground. I didn't even touch on how nasty the bathroom is. Good gosh! Another fun secret is with the pool's diving board. If we jump on it and switch into any laying down animation, as we do it will be launched into the air. Kaplush! For the next one, we'll be needing the same red book we got from the library. Since we can actually use it in the museum, we just have to go to this empty display and use the book in this thing. It'll start making these red particles just like that. After that's done, a ghost will appear between these pictures that will be holding the same book as us. It also looks just like that guy on the left, which is pretty weird. We'll also be needing the book for this one. And we're actually going back to the motel room. It needs to be all rusty like we've shown before for this to work. Now we need to sit down on this armchair and grab this black book that's on the ground. With it in hand, it'll be in our hands, but we won't use it now. We actually need to click on this picture frame and you'll hear a weird sound from it. Now we go up to this nightstand beside the bed. We have to turn the camera to the other side of it so we can see this hidden button that we'll be clicking. It'll start to glow as soon as we do that. But just you wait, we ain't done. We need to go to Rotten Robbie's right beside the food mart since there's a secret passage right here to this agency bunker kind of place. 
but we won't go that way. But to this side door over here. If we continue this way, we'll find all of these crates or containers from the agency. And yes, they only appear if we do all we did before this with the red book. Now we just need to grab a hammer from our inventory. And we'll be hammering these things until they break. After some time, they will start disappearing. Just like that. When we break this last one, this sound will play as this portal appears. The thing is, we're not even done with this one yet. There's still somewhere to go. We need to go straight through Rotten Robbie's and go up to this mountain. Inside this place, there will be this secret entrance. And we'll be face to face with this weird yellow portal. This thing is so weird. We can literally swim inside of it, which is kind of cool. The weirdest thing is that if we touch these yellow lines, the screen will turn like this as this sound plays. What's even going on in there? For our next secret, we'll need this house. That military base. Now we go inside. Go over to the in-house gym and pull some weights. For now, everything's normal. But if we click the house icon and then click on this one, we'll be able to get a new secret Brookhaven item. We'll be able to walk around with this huge weight in our hands. Everyone's gonna think you're so strong carrying this around in one hand. Now we're gonna be needing this house right here. Apparently this one will teleport us to a very weird place in Brookhaven. We just need to go up the stairs. Click on the elevator for the attic. And as we get up we'll find the safe of the house. But what matters now is actually this glowing claw over this side. With it in hand we can get out of this house. And go straight to the church. But not actually inside of it. We need to go to the roof of it. When we're up here we'll be able to click this button until it starts glowing. Now we can go inside of it. We want to have one of those funeral coffins. And now we just need to click this button right here on the coffin. As we do that we'll be teleported to the top of the arch near the hospital. Can someone get me down from here? Let's now go to town hall. We go inside to the right side right on the paranormal activity room. Inside this room we can click this thing that a ghost should appear for us. Let's see if that's true. I'll click it in. Whoa! There's some smoke coming out of it at least. Well, it looks like just smoke. Even with the ominous sound, I don't really see any ghost. At least it still does something. We'll be needing this house for the next one. We have to go up the stairs. Go right beside this bed. And click the button that's hidden beneath it. After that, we'll need to go back to the church. In here, we'll need to ring the bell. Just like you should. Then we have to go to that same arch we were teleported to. Right at this side of it, we'll find this secret item that's some sort of white stick. Now let's go back to the second floor of the hospital and click that same agency paper again. Now we need to go back to the museum and use the stick right at this picture. Then it'll make this glowing square appear, which is also at an arch, but the one on the opposite side. That direction takes us back to Mr. Brookhaven's abandoned house. And here's what we're looking for. This chair with a glowing triangle-headed creature, which I'm still not sure at all about what it means. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below what do you want to see next. Why don't you watch some of the videos on screen right now? They aren't gonna hide from you. I promise. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox whenever you want. Have a good one.